I forgot to tell you about an interesting purchase which I recently made. Well, recently, it was back in January of this year. As you know, I live in Kampen and we often visit the city center. And in the city center, there's a small vintage store called Luanto, and we are a regular customer. So back in January, my wife and I visit the store and I wait in the front while she rummages through the store. And all of a sudden she calls me and she says, listen, in the back of the store, there's a camera case. And on the case, it says Zeiss Econ. Are you interested? Yes, I am. So I walked to the back of the store and indeed here was the Zeiss Econ camera case. So I opened the case to find out what's being sold for a ticket price of 27 euros and 50 cents which is just a little more than $28. And I opened the case and I was surprised to find a Pentax Spotmatic. And attached to this Pentax was or is a Takumar 35mm 3.5 wide angle lens. And I checked the camera just to find out if it is in working condition. And it works absolutely fine. It looks also absolutely fine, so somebody has really taken care of this camera. And it was good to find it with a Takumar 35mm 3.5. And I do very much like my wide-angle lens. So that was a good start. Then I found this little lens case, and there was this lens jammed all the way inside, and I couldn't get it out, and I didn't want to damage the lens. And the case said, Takamar 3.5 35mm. So this was the lens case meant for that lens which is on the camera. Eventually, of course, I bought the case for €27.50. And when I got, got home, I carefully pried out this lens and it turned out to be a Super Takamar 50mm 1.4. This specific Model 2 version was built in between 1966 and 1971 and there are four different versions of this lens which were built. Many people are looking out for the eight element lens. This is the seven element version uh, but even so I'm very happy because it is in perfect condition, absolutely clean and fully working. Very nice lens to have. Just let me finish the case here and I'll show you how you can distinguish between an 8 element version and a 7 element version. So this was a great find. And besides that, and this is totally unexpected, there was an Asahi, a Takomar 135mm 2.5 with a K bayonet mount, while these two lenses and body have an M42 mount. So this surprised me totally. What this lens is doing in the case, I have no idea. So I guess there was another camera body included somewhere along the way. I'm not going to do anything with this lens. I do have that lens already. I have it here mounted on my K1000. I have a very nice looking 135 2.5. Same lens as I found here. And that aperture is not working, but I have one anyway. And as I mentioned, I already have three other Pentax Spotmatic models. One with a 55mm 2.2, a 55mm 2.0, and also a 105 2.8. So this has helped me to expand my Pentax collection. Well, let me show you quickly how you can distinguish between an 8 element and a 7 element version. And... Um, now I'm going to continue on to fill up the remaining role in my Olympus 35 LC. Let me tell you how to distinguish between the two. Thanks for watching. See you next time. The easiest way to distinguish between a 7 or an 8 element version Takamar 50mm 1.4 is to look at the Focus Infinity orange stripe right here near my thumb. And if it's to the left side of the 4, then you know that it is a 7-element version. If it's to the right, 
then you know it's an eight element. And another secret to give away, it's a public secret, nothing special, is the fact that the aperture at 2.0 has a white dot. Then you know how to differentiate between these two types of lenses.